coming up to 20 to 9 and it's time now for Diet with Diana. And Diana's actually made it down to 12 stone 6 pounds, discarding 39 pounds on the way. That just leaves 13 pounds to go before Diana reaches her target of losing 52 pounds by her 52nd birthday on October the 23rd. That's for anybody who wants to send in cards. <laughs> and that's for anybody that doesn't know I'm 52 on October the I'm 23rd. I'm sorry, Diana. It, but you did you say last week it. you didn't mind me saying it, didn't well, you? No good to mind, is it really? Everybody knows. <laughs> You're looking so much better. Am I? You look, you look absolutely terrific. Oh, thank you. Are you, you feeling it? Well, I feel fine. Uh, except that this week I've had a slight setback because I was feeling very much lacking in energy and I consulted my doctor as I always do at times like this and he said it's a lack of sugar because of the diet and because I've I've actually lost so much weight over the last weeks mm. and months and so he advised me to go on a course of Lucozade and honey and things like they that. They sound fattening. So, well, they are. This is a <laughs> trouble. So I, I'm afraid I haven't done as well on the weight this week. Uh, well, we shall see later on. As a result of that. But now, what have you got for us today? Uh, I've got what we call today a, a menu for those people who are entertaining others and who don't want to be regarded as diet bores mm. and we none of us yeah, we were do talking that, about that last it week it is boring we? if you know for, for people uh, for other people who are not on the diet if they continually hear you talking about what you're eating and what you're not eating and so these dishes are for people who are on diets uh, and who are serving other people with little bits of extra so that the other people won't even notice that they're on the diet here's the breakfast uh, just an ordinary normal breakfast half a grapefruit uh, and scrambled egg on toast of course, Nick's half a pint of skim milk. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's That's his favourite. Nick, by the way? He's all right. He sent me a postcard. He's having a marvellous time on holiday. Eating. And he's back tomorrow. I bet he's eating mm. and uh, going mad. Well, I'm sure There's his half a pint of skim milk, which I bet he hasn't looked at during the course of... Uh, of, of his holiday. Anyway, that's the breakfast uh, with coffee or tea, whatever whatever turns you on, and no sugar, and that amounts to 175 calories. Mm. And of course, if you've got people staying with you, you can always uh, dress their scrambled egg on toast up with little bits Put of bacon and, and butter on it for them. Butter yes. and whatever you fancy, and they'll they'll never know the difference. What about lunch? Lunch is a lovely one. Uh, again, we uh, we haven't got the recipes uh, on television today, uh, but they are. In the in Diana Dawes Excel, which I think everybody's got by now, package and so, so on. Right. Yes, uh, so uh, those of you who haven't got it, um, if you know, if if you want to get hold of it, this is where the recipe comes in. And this is a cucumber mousse with ham, and and calories, uh, calories, uh, cottage cheese, by the way, oh, which I is see. something that I love. Calories, two hundred. Right, and very That's quickly portion. Through, through dinner, so everybody knows what's in very that. quickly through dinner. This is gooey. It's Mexicali steak. And it's uh, comprised of beans, tomatoes, onions, and a green salad uh, with two types of dressing. One is honey and chives. Honey, again, you see, like I've been on this week. And uh, yogurt and herbs. And for dessert, strawberries. strawberries, fresh strawberries. This whole thing is 495 calories. And the strawberries are very low, very high in fiber. They're only 30 calories and they're lovely it's the cream apparently, that always goes with them. apparently the there's been a bumper strawberry season this year so eat uh, the lot yes and and they're not only very economical but they're low in calories right well to great. achieve the best results with this diet it's essential not only to stick to the diet dishes but to exercise as well exercise of course turns the muscles as they always tell us fights the flab and helps get rid of those extra inches so we asked paula baldwin the very first miss big is beautiful to show us some exercises which are particularly suitable for larger people trying to lose weight and keep fit. Paula came into the studio yesterday and did this exercise routine for us. This morning we're going to concentrate on this area of the body. It's the area that can feel as if it's encased in fat. You know the feeling when you're trying to back the car out of the drive and you really can't twist around to see what's behind you. We're going to do some super exercises that I do regularly and look if I can do them you can do them no matter what shape or what size you are. So come on up on your feet, kick off your slippers, feet wide apart, tummy tucked in, bottom tucked in, shoulders down, nice long strong straight spine and here we go follow me. Three, four, five, stretch, seven, eight and one. Two. Everything you do at one side, you do at the other. Six, seven, eight. Now, practice that twist. Three, four, five, six, seven. Change hands. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To the side. One, 
Two, really push. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now then, this one is terrific for the flab at the back of the arms. Face your palms backwards. Three, four. And this one, of course, for the bust. We all know this one. But the important thing about it is to make sure you keep those elbows level with your shoulders. That's it. Up on your toes. It's no good if you do it down here. Two, three, last one. Now this one relieves the tension across the back. Five, six, seven, eight. Now again with your knees bent. Two. Ooh, can't you feel that in your legs? Six, seven, eight. Just a little bit more work on the shoulders now. Nice sexy that one, this one. Five, six, really roll them. Now try to get your shoulders right up to your ears. Four. Both. Ooh. Three, four. Remember to breathe. Six, seven, eight. Other way. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Ooh. Both together. One, two, three, four. their toes at your exercise class. How about you just touching your knees? Far better for big girls like us. Far less dangerous. And when they're all jogging, you jog like this without the feet leaving the floor. When you finish these exercises, take nice deep breaths and relax. Well, that looked great and very manageable to anybody, actually, no matter what weight I would have thought, Paula. That's right. Or, or what age. Do you think uh, people have to have a deliberate set of exercises if they're a bit sort of overweight or larger? Not necessarily a deliberate set of exercises, but a well-informed set of exercises where they're not doing the sort of things that uh, slimmer girls do too soon. Yes, because not only, I suppose, would that be wrong for your own body, but it actually would be a bit depressing to try and do things that other people can do and you can't do so well. Yes, this is what I'm always complaining about, because lots of exercise charts and exercise records give the impression that anyone can do it. And I think when you're overweight, the important thing is that you can actually do it. So it's far better to try and do something that you can achieve than to try go, going straight into something that's not well, achievable. Well, thanks very much, Paula. I hope everybody at home does watch that, actually, and try and do the uh, exercises as well as the diet. Yes, I, th I thought that was excellent. Yes, I mean, it was. You're going to have a go. You swim, of course. Well, I swim. I'm fortunate enough to have a swimming pool, but you know, there are all kinds of diet uh, exercises one can do on this uh, Excel diet. And, of course, we've got a, a very gentle exercise sheet in the package, which is rather similar to the Well, I'm going to be to telling everybody about how to get the package in a second. How oh, about, all right, let's how get about on the, the scale and see, and see the terrible Now, moment. what were you last week? I was 12, 6. six. Yes, right. yes. <laughs> now, come on, let's see if this honey and all this business is I'm good. afraid it has. Oh, no, it, four, five. It yeah. always creeps up that last yes, bit. Yes, it's funny. It? It's probably the clothes and the battery right. and all the usual things. But... But you have uh, that lost. isn't as exciting, of course, as uh, the beginning of the diet when I when I st was used to stand on here and pounds were dropping off. But of course, it does slow down. And I think, in a way, at least I've I've lost but you a have pound. Lost. I've lost a despite pound. Despite the than fact that you've been eating honey, which is despite really... the fact. I mean, it's better than putting on a pound. I think that's And I terrific. think it's rather encouraging for people who are dieting along with me because if you've only managed to lose one pound, that's quite a lot. I mean, it's not a question of only a pound. But a it's, pound if it's a pound that stays off, that's the important thing. Sure. Well, of course, you can get to diet Diana's exercise package if you ring 01404040401 and you can get Diana's exercise package of course and Diana's going to be back next week and we'll see how much she's lost then. Right now over to Martin.